Hello everyone, it's Doom here once again, playing Hitman Absolution. Now you might be curious as to why the continue button is grayed out, and the reason for that this is actually being recorded after I had completed the let Let's Play. While I was actually going over the videos and, you know, reviewing them, as I have started to upload them, I noticed that Skirky's Law, and I'm not, and I believe Operation Sledgehammer, I'm not sure if Operation Sledgehammer was the entire, went, went um, entirely broken, but I do know the beginning was. And so for part 11, I wish to redo both of them again, this time, correctly. That is, with the audio working. Plus, it gives an excuse for an extra long video. Oh, yeah. mm. So you saw him get up and walk away after that fall? Oh, yeah. Like a walking, talking angel, man. Can you describe it? <laughs> get out of here! You're wasting my time! <sighs> Twenty people saw him, man. Not a single one can describe him apart from being bald with a tattoo on the back of his neck. You really think it's the hitman? I don't care if it's the fucking tooth fairy. I'm gonna get him. Detective, this was left at the front desk. Kid said, "Give it to whoever's looking for the hitman." Location for the ransom exchange is set? Yes, sir. Blackwater Park. I've already assigned three teams for you. Good. We get the girl, make sure she's secure, then we take them all out and get our money back. Ransom is not in the agency budget this year. <laughs> May I ask where we're going, sir? Uh. Hope, South Dakota. <laughs> to watch the myth die. All right, let's see what we can do here. Next matter of order, Dexter Industries versus Kevin Zimmerman. Trespass. Where's the prisoner, Sheriff? <clears throat> Your Honor, uh, the uh, prisoner had a uh, unfortunate accident in his cell this morning, and uh, he's on his way to the infirmary. Mm, I see. You think he'll pull through? Not looking good. I, he fell pretty hard. <coughs> Case dismissed. Oh boy. Well, I think I'm gonna mosey on down to the jail and check on the jailbird. All right, Your Honor. Where were we? There's a, a wide variety of ways to get to the holding cell. Um, one of the ones I, the one, first one I found, and the one I still think gives you the best score, is to disguise yourself as the judge and then just dismiss the court. However, while I was trying new strategies, in or, or, while live, 
I found one that I actually like a lot more, just because it gets you farther than the judge one. I don't think it gives you as much points, though. It involves more waiting. You basically wait here and wait for the guard to, uh, that's over there, to move over, and then you turn off the, uh, cameras, or, um, not cameras, the, um, uh, evidence showcaser that will cause course, that'll cause the, um, case to be dismissed, in which case the defendant, I believe, I'm not super good with legal terms, um, to u use the bathroom. Because he's a lunatic and is actually just there to mostly uh, ravel, if I recall correctly. In which case, you can easily get him, and afterwards, you can go there, you'll go to jail, and basically you'll be escorted to your destination. But since it's going to take some time for him to move, we can have a bit of a pointy pointy. Sadly, there's a, a bunch of people over there, so you can't w come in and sneak behind him and then try and choke hold him. You will get spotted. And I believe people will hear you shoot, even if it's from here with a silenced weapon. So, yes. Waiting. I believe he does it after about. He does move after about seven minutes. Your in-game minutes. I don't think he actually does it like... Okay. Yeah, the case evidence. There you go. You almost spotted me, but since he didn't, that means I was in. That was that means I was unseen. All right, climb out, get in the vents, and get in the bathroom vents. Yes, because I do believe there are guards that will follow the defendant, and they'll first kick out everyone in the uh, male bathroom for some reason. So you actually want to do this and then hide in here. There's a vent here. I believe there is also a uh, cabinet in the uh, uh, male bathroom, so you can hide in there. However, I prefer hiding in the vents. It has more cigarettes for some reason. I would understand that vents wouldn't be the cleanest space per se, but why are they always filled with cigarettes specifically? Yeah, I believe uh, that's them. There's the guy we want to disguise as, and there are his uh, and there's his escort. Hello there, crazy man. I'll take this. And now we are the crazy man. Stop for any reason along the way. His honor is not a patient man. All right, we'll just uh, go all the way over here ahead of him. Glad to have you back. Take your place at the desk and let's wrap this thing up. A judge is given considerable latitude in sentencing cases such as this. Context is taken seriously. In all my years upon the bench, I don't believe I've ever sentenced a man to much more than the minimum sentence for the crime. This court has found you guilty. 
your case, however, I'm availing myself of the opportunity to hand down the maximum penalty. Two years confinement in a state penitentiary, minus time served, and a fine of $10,000. Confinement to be served at Rapid City minimum year. Done. Someone make the necessary arrangements and get this convict into a keep. All right. Get a move on. Let's go. So yes, we're now escorted to where we need to go. Even if it's not as fast as pretending to be the judge, I still prefer this one. And I found it on my own, live. Hurrah. Sadly, it is no longer live because I am not showcasing a video with zero sound. There's a event there, and I believe it leads to like an office, so you, I believe that's the only way you can do this suit only, is that there's also a key card there. bumped in him. Anyway, the place is locked down, got some uh, disturbance going on, so the good news for you is we got a nice cell away from the bad boys. For now, it's a goddamn Shangri-La compared to where you're going to be spending the next few years. Hey there, Pecker Puller. My old friend just came back. You want to say hello? What the hell's wrong with you? Can't you see I'm reading my daytime story? Daytime story, yeah. Keep your head down. Good thing they don't search for my inventory, right? Problem is, is this guy gonna leave? Yes. Well, this was easy. I think we'll just go on to the next area. believe they won't be able to, they won't like turn around. I don't care about the prisoner. Uh, I believe you should enter this and wait for them. I'm not actually sure if they go or not without disturbance, however I believe they will not. So no, I don't think, I think it's alright if you don't enter. Yeah, screw it, we'll help the prisoner anyway. They are not, fellow convict. I shall save you. Oh, he's dead. Okay. <laughs> Okay. He turned around at the exact time I did not want him to. Oh come on, it's bulletproof from my side, but not theirs.
Here's a shotgun over here. Let's pick up the ammunition. Well, the reason I walked in there, despite its precarious position, is that we need to open the prison gate. Well, good thing nobody heard that. However, let's keep this magnum just because in case we need it. You can climb here in order to escape. Mostly undetected, I believe. I don't believe you'll want to slide. It'll produce noise and they'll notice you. And other than that, we're okay. Remember to put on your silencer if you took it off. Otherwise, you'll be heard. And you can pick this lock, but... There seems to be a vent, so I guess I can see the reasoning behind it. If you had no ammunition and we're still going for silent. Harmless electrocution. Yeah. There you go. Oh, 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 down for the count. How about a little extra just to make sure your cook feels good? Mm. Hey, yeah, Dexter. Hey, yeah, no problem. Yeah, just some bald fuck. Told you I'm a professional. <laughs> yeah, he's sleeping like a baby. Okay, one thing strikes me odd is that if the first initial electrocution was enough to immediately knock out uh, Agent 47, wouldn't giving him another shock, even a small one, wake him back up? Because doesn't electric? Because wouldn't that just send him another electrical shock that could potentially like restart his system or something? Like I don't tend to profess to be an electrician, but I, I remember it being that. The human body uses electrical impulses to uh, send messages, and it's why a large, uh, sudden surge of electricity through you can paralyze you. It's because you basically uh, overdrive the system. However, if you did it again, wouldn't it reset? <laughs> or something like that? Oh, whatever. Normally, we'd end this part here. However, since this is a special, we're continuing right off from where we left off. And magically get our suit again. I Warren, needed Mr. it. Warren, do you? Good thing I noticed that time. Well, well, well. Where's my boy? Where is my boy, you son of a bitch? <laughs> In the Mexican desert! Tough? You got it, asshole. <laughs> See that little girl over there everybody's so fond of? Well, my scientists tell me that this is what revs her up. Look at her now. Weak as a little kitten, huh? Ow! Mr. Dexter, fuck off! <laughs> place you running here, Clive? Hell, that ain't mine. Jesus Christ, you... That's Mrs. Cooper. Sick fuck. You killed my boy, didn't you? Look, man, just no? tell him what he wants to know. Accidents happen in this jail all the time. Hey, Mr. Dexter, come on. You go on about your business, I'll take care of this guy. Let's go. I want my boy back, Clive. I ain't let you down yet, have I? Go on. You and me now. Just so you know, this is very dangerous for your health and safety being near me at any at all times. Especially if you aggravate me. 
best 47 impression there ever was in human history. Yeah, since apparently, um, Agent 47 has the hand strength of 10 men, he can break, uh, steel cusps without making a sound. Actually, they were probably, like, ropes, in which case it makes perfect sense why he was able to break through them effortlessly. Yeah, but what doesn't make sense is why they decided to tie him in that. We have no weapons, they were, uh, confiscated. Luckily, they were smart this time. God damn it. It's typical. Just typical. Come on in. Go to sleep. Where is it? The container. Okay, the container's over there. We do not have full health, so I would rather avoid a firefight. However, if it, we do get into one, then I'll probably win it. We do have a fairly substantial amount of instinct, and that's mostly what you need to win a firefight. There's lots of instinct for point shooting. We're having good aim, which I do not have. He looked very happy. Probably had a session, if you know what I mean, right? Um. <laughs> anyway, I left the pistol. I guess theoretically I should not do that, however. Um, since the game doesn't really account if you suddenly cut off, um, the derp derp derp. A phone call, nobody seems to be terribly suspicious. I'm just gonna do that to go a bit faster. And I believe we should go through a vent. However, I'll try and take a quick checkpoint stop. Just in case I make a mistake. Because there's a lot of policemen here, and I'm not sure if victory is guaranteed. Even with all the point shooting. I have actually ran out of ammunition uh, going on firefights before. In this stage. Mostly due to my bad ammunition, or bad aim, but there are a respectable amount of police officers here. As you can see, there's a container there, a first aid kit there, and something over there, I think. A police baton. Gun. With ammunition. So this guy's all alone, let's subdue him and then put him in the container. Just means less people to worry. I don't normally complain. But it's every oh, crap. Jesus, Kept me up all night. Sir, can I speak to you for just a okay, now, now I'm insulted. Ha! Those are Dexter in the um, Okay. I guess we're having a firefight. And that is why you take out people from stealth, so there's less people you to be worry about. No, that name is terrible. Okay. There's a lot more policemen in the other room. So, apparently they didn't hear that massive gunfight. him surprisingly well. Christ, what a dipshit. Alright, outgunned. 
but only in spirit. Yes, I would recommend you try and do a beast at least a bit stealthily, as they are heavily armored. I mean, yeah, they are heavily armed as well, but you can just steal their guns. However, for some reason, I, if you take their disguise, I don't think you actually gain any defensive bonus. However, since we have glasses, we'll be just fine. What the fuck? How did they? These guys must be like super deaf. All right, looks like we're having another shootout. Your aim is terrible, mate. I'm gonna stay low. It usually helps. Do you know that the uh, agency uh, rifle, I forgot what it's called, is very inaccurate, so try to burst fire if possible. Is there any first aid kits nearby? No, it does not seem like it. I guess I'll pick up a disguise. First aid? Anywhere? Nope. Ah, here it is. Let's pick up the first aid and try and get up here. As you can see, we can't go over there because there's kind of a fire. I'm not sure where those shadows actually came from. Hammer. Nope, I'd rather keep my knife. Agency town. Yeah, with smoke, it's a bit easier to sneak around. However, they tend to be in very closely knit positions, so it's very difficult to still sneak by. However, you can stay much closer to them. I'd recommend you try and take the high ground whenever possible in this area because they do not tend to look up specifically. However, they otherwise tend to be nigh impregnable. If you do not have a disguise, uh, I'd recommend you just try and stay at a wall at all times. Or if you do have a disguise, yeah, I want to see what I mean. They, t they take a while to see you, um, so you can f stay near them very effortlessly. 
There's another way to uh, cross over here. If you have a disguise, you should be able to just walk through most of this. Here's where it gets uh, pretty easy if you have a disguise. You can just go here. And do this. Normally you have to sneak around and try and dance around cover until that guy leaves. However, if you have a disguise, you can just walk by. And here's the door. Simple enough. And there's our exit over here. We'll have to pick the lock. However, otherwise we'll be fine. There's a, a sniper rifle here, or sniper here. Um, he's not too bad. He's really more of a place for a convenient um, disguise. Since none of the agency members find it odd that their sniper is walking around them. At least I believe he's a sniper. He may not. Yeah, I'm just doing here. Okay, maybe not. No, he's just a generic gun. There's proximity mines over there, however. I believe it showcases in a later part, or maybe an earlier one, I can't remember for sure. That I tend to get myself killed with those, so. Yeah, no. I'm just gonna carry around the knife because I like doing so. Don't have the smoke here, however, there's a lot of uh, stuff you can change cover from. Just make sure you're not doing it when someone is looking at you for their intents and purposes. Seriously. Turn around. To turn around. Thank you. Again, if you have a disguise, this makes the uh, last part easy. You can effectively just walk by them. In fact, you can you actually have enough instinct if it's full, at least on normal, to walk by the majority of them. However, for those that do not have a disguise and cannot do that, I will try to show my preferred route. Sir, stop that. Crap. Sir. Sir. This doesn't make any sense. How can you just give us the drop hey, like that? Stop right now. I am serious. God damn it. Alright, so I screwed up there, but other than that, so if you don't screw up there, you should be fine. Looks like we're having a shootout. I think I'll a fair bit of body shots if they're in heavy armor, so try and aim for the head. Unless you have my aim. Seriously, you took that many body shots? Jeez. I meant to attack him with the knife, not get in the chokehold. But okay. Thank you for the reef of 
location. How many fucking bullets is he gonna take? And there's a guy all the way in the back. He's gonna make this difficult. Let's save the knife for him. Oh, there's more. I guess this is the backup. So many fucking bullets. There's no first aid in sight. Luckily, you know, any sharp thrown weapon is a guaranteed kill, I believe. Yeah, I remember the spot. Where the fuck? Oh, jeez, that was a close one. Okay, let's take some ammunition and hope for a first aid box. Alright, so I screwed that up, however, and almost paid for it with my life, however. Uh, except for that uh, few mistakes near the end, I'd say following my plan worked pretty well. Of course, that mistake led into a massive shootout twice, but... We're alive, right? And good thing we found a spare suit. The audio is still working, by the way. At least I hope so. Oh, he's got a gun! Oh, he's got a gun! Sheriff, do so! 
Nobody messes with my faith and gets away with it. How are you still alive? Uh, 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 please, I can't die in a church. Last time, where's Victoria? Oh, go fuck yourself! Blackwater Park! Blackwater Park! Where'd the fires come from? Well, I guess the uh, thingy was on fire, so maybe it's spread. Yeah, cinematic ed. exit. Silent assassin. What do you mean I wasn't silent? I only walked into a church and shot someone in plain view of everyone in sight. And I got into a few shootouts, but you know, I think everyone should have a nice day. For Doom is signing out. Good night.